So let me tell y'all my Amazon FBA story, right? So with Amazon FBA for me, man, I feel like it was a little bit of a big money grab for them. It didn't work out that well for me. Not saying that this would be everybody's uh, experience or whatever, but I'm just telling you what happened with me, right? So I got products from a wholesale place that I was able to go directly to. I didn't get it from Alibaba or none of that, none of that drop shipping and all of that stuff. I just went straight to the wholesaler and I bought the products straight from them, right? So when I listed the products, it was no listing for those products. There was a brand new product on Amazon, so I had to create a new listing and everything, right? It wasn't an existing listing and all of that, so I had to create brand new from scratch. So as you know, if you ever tried to post anything on Amazon FBA, it's a little difficult. You know, they put you, they make you run through a lot of hoops and all of that posting and and you got to get everything right and then you have to wait for them to approve the changes that you do and all of that just posting it is just not the most simple thing so if you want a professional seller plan then you're going to be paying 40 dollars a month right they charge you from the beginning once you get started they're going to charge you 40 right then after that every month that you on amazon fba program you're gonna get charged another forty dollars every month right so that's not including the fees that they take from you every time you sell a product you know what i'm saying now with amazon fba is like you send them the product that you have you send it all to the warehouse and then whenever you sell a product they take care of shipping the product to the customer and everything like that but you pay every time you sell, let's just say product that I had, that I was selling, the product was like, let's just say I was selling it for $13. Amazon was taking like $7 or $6 out of that as a fee, right? So I'm like, okay, they taking the fee out and they charging me $40 a month, right? So, what ended up happening was once I finally got my listing up and everything, everything, it said the listings were active and all of that, right? So now I'm waiting, let's just say a week go by and I get no sales, nothing, no, not one sale, right? And I also have the same product on Amazon and I, I mean on eBay and I was getting sales right away from eBay. So I posted on Amazon and no sales, no nothing. So I'm thinking, wait a minute, what is going on? So I look into it. And I, I look on some forums and stuff and I see people were saying, oh, sometimes you gotta check to make sure um, they might be asking you to verify your identity again. So I'm like, okay, but why wouldn't they notify me if that was gonna be holding my product up from being sold? Why they didn't tell me that I needed another to take another step? So I'm like, okay, I went on there just to see. When I went on the site to look that up, it was like, okay, yeah, it did ask me for another verification. So I did that thinking, okay, now it should be fine. So now after that, I'm still just waiting another week or so go by, still nothing. Now, let's say two weeks, three weeks go by, the whole month go by, no sales. Now I'm paying another $40 again. So now I'm already $80 in the hole, right? So I'm looking like, man, why would none of these products be selling? They sell on eBay, why am I getting no sales? So, so I start to go, I went on to another Amazon, I went on Amazon through my girlfriend, um, her account, right? And I'm trying to search for my product. I'm trying to search for my product to make sure my product is there. So I'm searching for my product and I can't find it. When you know I'm searching the name exactly what I have my product listed as and it's not showing up nowhere, right? Not showing up. So I'm like, man, what is going on? How can I sell a product if it don't show up in the search? 
So I end up contacting Amazon about that. And so I'm like, okay, I send them, you don't know, they wouldn't let me call or whatever. So I had to send them an email or uh, go through the help center and all of that. So finally I told them what my problem was and they come back to me like, oh, well, yeah, your product wasn't showing up because uh, you it was an error on the listing or the way that you categorized it, it wasn't showing or whatever like that. So I'm like, man, okay, another problem. So, so after that, after I talk with them about that problem, mysteriously, I went and searched again after that. I didn't make any changes. I went and searched my product again and now, now my product is showing up. Now I can search my own product. After I told them what the problem was, I didn't change anything though. I just searched it again just to see and now all of a sudden it's showing up, you know? But now I'm already going on my third month almost. So now, I I'm I get charged another forty dollars. So now I'm already one twenty in the hole before I even sell any product, right? So I'm like, okay, now that my product is showing up, I'ma just give it a little more time just to see if you know all of a sudden maybe I start getting some sales now since you can since it's searchable. So I wait. I'm waiting, being patient. Still no sales again, right? So at, by this point, another month is going by another $40. So now it's 160. So now at this point, I'm like, man, look, I don't even wanna, like, I'm done with this. Like, it's kind of like, it's not worth it to, for me to be having all, they got all my product already because I shipped it all out to them. So I'm thinking, man, it's not worth it for me to be sitting here paying y'all $40 a month and it's just not working. So I'm like, okay, now I need to call them. I need to contact them through the help center again and tell them, look, I want to downgrade my account where I will take my own products back. I will ship my own products. I don't need FBA and I, so I won't get charged $40 a month anymore. So that was like, okay, you can do that, downgrade the account, and then you have to create a removal order to where we will send you your products back. So I'm like, okay, I'll do that. So I did that, right? Once I did that, once I created the removal order, so they, they started to send me my products back, right? I down had to go in there, downgrade the account. They started sending me my products back, right? So once they send me my products back, but this is the thing, I had about 44 products, right? And they were all pretty small, like they were like phone chargers, like so they didn't weigh anything, right? They charged me another $36 to send me my things back. And they only sent me 40 out of 44 items. And they said all of a sudden, oh, four of them, four items got canceled in your order to remove them. And I'm like, why would my orders get canceled? Why would y'all cancel a order that I put in to send me my own product back? Why would y'all cancel that? and say, oh, matter of fact, we not sending him these extra four, like that don't make sense. So I had to contact them again about that. And they tell me, oh, well, they went back into the inventory for whatever reason, we canceled them and then you have to do another removal order. So I'm like, man, look, so they charged me another $36. So let's just say another $40, right? So now that's $200 that they took from me that for $200 that I had to pay and it was no benefit. I didn't benefit from it at all, you know? And I had this happen to me once before when I used to have an Amazon account before years ago. And I was thinking, man, you know, I remember it was some issue that I had with them where I didn't want to do it anymore, but I couldn't remember exactly. I didn't go into it this in depth. I didn't send so many products or whatever. But this time I really see like, man, 
you go into it thinking that it's going to be so easy. You're going to sell and all oh, they're going to help you with sales and all of that. And you end up just paying them money for nothing. You end up, they end up taking your money. It's so many fees and all of that, that it's hard to make any profit with Amazon FBA and everybody just be on here talking so much like it's so easy and oh i got so rich off of this it's like man how much profit did you make because you can easily go on there and sell your product for less than what you paid for or end up losing money yeah because they take so much out of the feed that it's like man my profit will end up being so small and then they make you jump through so many hoops just to have your product be searchable and able for customers to find it. But in the meantime, while you waiting for all of this, because they are not gonna remind you, they are not gonna send you a notification. Oh, you need another step. You need to do this next step. Or, oh, it's an error with your listing. You need to fix this. No, they just gonna let you wait so you can end up paying for another month. So they are not gonna help you to figure it out what's wrong. You gotta do it all on your own. So, hey, that's just my experience, man. I don't know about that Amazon FBA, man. Like, at least with eBay, you got, you still have your product, you pay a little bit of a fee when you sell a product. But that, you don't pay monthly and you can list anything that you want basically because Amazon FBA got a lot of restrictions on what you can't sell. So that's all I gotta say about that, man. Y'all do your own research. Do you, you can try it yourself. If you had different experiences. You can let me know in the comments or whatever, but that was just my experience. So I ain't gonna hold y'all too long, man. This gam tapping out till next time.